Hello everyone, RiceTime911 here, and I'm just going to go ahead and assume that you want to know how to make a toggleable horn. So, in other words, one that stays on or off, depending on if you press a button. So, this is useful for making sirens for your mods, or really just having a loud annoying horn that never goes away. So, to get started, you're going to need your mod in a folder, where you can work on it and unzip it all. And what we're going to look at is the XML file and the mod desk file. And by the way, I also gave you a useful little adding siren that stays on sample code txt file that has some instructions in it. So if you prefer a written instruction, there's that. Also describe some of the bits there so that you know what they mean. So and also the sample code, so you'll want to download that in the description below if you don't have it to use that. Alright, so we're going to get started now. So open up your XML file and also go ahead and open up your mod desk file. Alright, so here we are, we're in our mod desk.xml file of our mod. So we're going to look in the 10n code block, so between 10n and the other 10n and we're going to go to the sample code now in this document and just copy this here, these lines of code and paste them in here before this n tag for 10n like so and basically this will set it up so we can properly code in our help text later for our horn. Now in the input bindings, we're going to put this line of code. So in between input bindings and input bindings, right in here, we'll put this code. And then, under specializations, if you don't already have it, you're going to want to add specialization name equals and all that good stuff. Universal toggle parts. And this is just a script I'm using for it, Universal Toggle Parts, because that's the one I figured this out with and I feel comfortable with. Now, we're also we're going to add the specialization name here under Vehicle Types, Type Name, so right under here, Specialization Names, we'll just add to the list. Right about there at the end is good. And then, that's pretty much it for the mod desk. One little thing I neglected to mention is that in a folder called scripts in your mod, you're going to put the universal toggle parts Lua or script in a folder called scripts in your mod. And that'll be included in a little pack with this here sample code so that you can download it. It'll be in the description so that you can have that script as well to put in a folder. All right, awesome. So let's move on. Alright, so now we got our moddesk.xml finished, what's next? Well, next up, what we can do is we can go into our XML here, and we have this sample code here for in the XML file, universal toggle parts, we can put that down here, and yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. And then the rest really comes down to looking into the giant error file or the i3d file right here and then just getting the index so I'll show you how to do that now so let's go ahead and open our i3d file now and there's just a few easy steps that you'll just need to follow here what we're going to want to do now is create audio source once you've opened your mod in the editor. And then navigate to where you got your sound, which I'll do right now. All right, so we're a lot closer now. So basically what you're going to want to import is your horn or siren sound. And generally that'll be in an MP3 format. So I like to keep it in a folder called sounds within my mod because that keeps it nice and organized. 
and I have the mp3 called siren so I'm going to go ahead and import that so generally you'll just find a siren sound you like and you'll just use that as your siren now you'll cut the sound and paste it within your mod I mean within your vehicle in the scenograph and then what you're going to want to do is go to the translate Y put negative 500 why? why are we putting that sound down there below the vehicle where we can't even hear it? well you see basically this animation makes it so that when you press a button it brings the sound up from negative 500 to zero so it brings it up to zero so it's right here so you can hear it so basically that's how it works it puts it out of range and then brings it in range when you want the sound to play and then the sound stays on and you have a nice siren sound at the press of a button so now we're just going to want to make sure our index is correct so in the attributes panel window attributes get our index path that's 034 and it seems we already got the correct index path so we'll keep that as that 034 and now we should be all good to go because we got everything all lined up we got our mod desk all finished xml finished i3d finished we're all good we did a good job so now we can go ahead and test the game and hopefully it works of course <coughs> not forgetting to save because that's a good idea and also save all this and zip it all up and bring it back to your mod folder and replace your old version if you have one or just place it in the mod folder whichever works so now we're in game and if everything was done right and if I'm right when I press 7, we should hear a siren sound. And then when we press it again, it turns off. So that's numpad 7 anyway. So yeah, that's how you add a toggleable horn to your mod. I do hope this tutorial has helped you and that you were able to do so as well and that all is well in Waffleville. But if it is not, then I'd recommend checking that your index path for your siren in the XML is correct and also maybe check that there are no other errors with the mod perhaps with Lua's that may not be the fault of this here universal toggle parts script per like perhaps there was some other script that was malfunctioning to begin with and maybe interfering with this working properly so check that as well check for errors in your log as always and that should help you to resolve it. So yeah, that's troubleshooting and that's all for today. So yeah, I do hope it's helped you and thank you very much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more tutorials now and in the future. And yeah, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.